Hello everybody. Uh, today we have I have a work order in this property in that building. The apartments in the lower in the gar the garden apartments have no heat. So we're gonna uh, find out why. So come with me. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. So this is the boiler. This is. 300,000 BTUs for six apartments. We have four apartments in the upper floors and two apartments in the lower floor in the basement. So these are the two pumps. And this pump is okay, but that pump, it's working. As you can see, it's spinning. The bearing, the coupler is spinning. I don't know if you could see that. We don't have any heating in the apartment so we're going to find out so let's go here the control so this is the control and um, zone one and zone two are the ones that um, these are calling for heat and it's and they're turning the pump on so the yellow light means that they're calling for heat and then the red light means they're opening the pump. They're closing on the pump. But nothing is happening, as you could see. The pumps are working. This pump is hot. This is hot. They are working. However, uh, this is cold and this is hot. So I'm gonna show you the temperature. So let me show you what's going on. I have a temperature lead over there before and another one after the pump. And this is the difference in temperature. Look at that, 79 versus 128. So definitely there is something wrong uh, in either the impeller or the pump or the bearing assembly. But I think it's the impeller because the pump and the bearing assembly, they look fine. So the parts for this project we're going to need, uh, just in case we have to remove the couplers, uh, this is a 180 hex. And then we have a pair of open end wrenches, 11 sixteenths and 5 eighths. That's for these bolts, for these bolts and for the nuts. And then I have pump accessories, that's the 519603 from Grom Foss, if you see this one here, or, and we have the flange gasket set, and we have the impeller for the pump. So since we're gonna uh, service both pumps, we're gonna replace uh, the seals because it has been leaking from there, if you see, and you can see that that one has been leaking as well, and it is leaking on the floor, currently leaking. So, um, we're going to replace the impellers on both pumps, all the screws, and we're going to clean the flanges. And if it needs replacements, we have the flanges too as well. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the power off to the boiler. So, we're going to turn the power off. Okay, and then we have to isolate. So, we have a... We have to isolate the system, so we have a valve here. We want to shut it off. I wish we could have one here to isolate both of the pumps, but there's only one here. So we close this one. Okay. And we're going to shut this off as well. And we have these two, these two valves here. That's it. So now these are off. And this is off. That's off. So you have to shut everything before and after the pump. As I said, it would be nice to have one here, 
but we don't have anything that'll be a project for the future. So now we're gonna uh, remove the bolts to uh, let some water out so it drains a little bit. So it uh, so we're gonna drain the water that is here and in here. So the first thing I'm gonna do since uh, we don't care about the bearing assembly, we're gonna replace the impeller. So we're gonna remove these four bolts. There's two on this side and two here. So we're gonna use a 916 open end wrench. So you can just uh, loosen it up and let some water drain, drain out. Uh, or you can just yank it out and but you might get wet because there's water here and here and the pressure is going to bring it out and remember this is hot water 180 degrees so it's it's hot so don't get burned we got a water That wasn't much water. Now I'm gonna remove the last screw and then I'm gonna grab my pump and I'm gonna put it out of the way on top. Okay, so there's no more screws. Now I can pull it out. You know, still be careful. The impeller doesn't look that bad. Oh no, this is the good pump. This is the good pump. Uh, we're gonna replace both. Since this is all rusted, we're gonna replace service both. So I'm gonna do both at the same time and see what's going on. Now we're gonna pull it out. That's the impeller that doesn't work. It doesn't look, doesn't look that bad, but we're gonna replace it anyway. So this impeller looked right, but when, when I removed it, it was broken, so. Yep. The flanges, because we're gonna replace the seals in both of them. Both of them, we're gonna clean them up and put new no rubber seals and maybe we do no screws as well maybe we want to use a screwdriver here to pry it open oh this is Loose. So it's been leaking through here. So we want to replace the seals and maybe the flanches. The flanches look good. I'm just going to clean them and that should be it. And we want to replace the seal. See, it's all broken. Okay, that's it now. Look at these ones, they're pretty worn out. Just be careful, don't stop. I don't know if you can see, but this is worn out. Look at that. Let me show you a new one. A new one's supposed to be like that. Look at how thick it is. Of course, when you compress it, it'll get compressed, 
but see it's all worn out it's all f breaking apart so it was about time so we're gonna do the same with the other flange we have to clean it very well So now we have this part. We're gonna put a new seal. Remember the, the, the arrow has to go down. We have two rubber seals and they have to, if you see here, these fit in there kind of a little bit so you have to be careful and just put them just like that <laughs> So now we're gonna replace this one. This is at 916, and then we're gonna hold it from here, and then we're gonna undo it, just like that. The other impeller is the broken one, but we're gonna replace this one as well. So that's it. And this is how it comes. There is a washer there. Look at that. That's one part. And this is the other one. Bell and Gosset 1891893LF. And it comes with this indication, never use metal washer from BNG seal. So this one didn't have it, the other one had it and I didn't put it in. So now make sure this is in place. This one has a notch right here. Do you see it? Right there and the shaft has one notch as well. So we have to match that notch with this notch. So the longer shaft, this head goes first and it has to make it right there into that channel. And the other piece just goes on top, just like this. It has to, it has to click, that's it. And now we're gonna just tighten it you know, just grab this one and it doesn't have to be very tight, but it has to be tight. Now this part right here, it has the part of the old seal. We have to clean it as well. Make sure it doesn't have any, any residue, otherwise it won't seal. If it doesn't clean well, then we're gonna use a knife. Look at that. You see this?
Now we're ready. Remember the gasket has to be clean. Put it there and make sure it doesn't move. Get all four screws ready. So I have all four screws and now this one very careful. So we're replacing we're replacing the flange and this one because this is too rotten is gonna leak soon if we don't replace it now. The flange broke as we were tightening it, so we have to replace the flange as well. So that's it for hey guys, that's it for today. So we replaced a lot of parts. We replaced the uh, in, on this pump, the impeller, the flanges, both flanges. We replaced the bolts. Uh, we replaced piping all this piping these three fittings we replaced and on this pump we replaced the bolts uh, the impeller and on this one we had to replace the bearing assembly uh, you didn't see it in the video but if you want to see a detailed video about replacing the bearing assembly I'll show it to you right here up up here on my right up here on my left and um, yeah, and then we had to bleed uh, the whole two apartments, the basement apartments, because it had, they had a lot of air. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it was beneficial to you. If so, please like and subscribe and see you next video. Thank you so much.